Welcome to my channel, The Real Super Sam. Today is a surprising video I was able to make and I hope you enjoy. For quite a while, I've been compelled to make a complete history of video of this Marvel villain, Tiger Shark. He's one of Namor's Submariner's greatest enemies, but he's hardly talked about. He's been in some supervillain teams. After that little intro, here is the complete history of Tiger Shark. Tiger Shark's first appearance was in Submariner issues 5, 6, and 7, September to November 1968. Todd Airless was a swimmer who took part in the Olympic Games. He damaged his spinal cord when he'd rescued a drowning man. Desperate to regain his swimming ability, Airless willingly participated in an experiment by the scientist Dr. Lemuel Dorcas. Dr. Dorcas blended Airless DNA with that of numerous Mariner and a tiger shark. Although successful, the process changed Airless both physically and mentally. He now had razor sharp teeth and gills and had become savage and predatory. He attacked Lady Dorma, and this sent the Submariner after him, and the two have a battle underwater. Tiger Shark wins the fight and takes Lady Dorma prisoner. He forces Dorma to take him to the Atlantean encampment, and he takes control of it. There is another battle between Namor and Tiger Shark, where Namor spares the villain's life. He is later seen locked up, and Namor and Lady Dorma go to the surface to tell Tiger Shark's sister that Todd is still alive. He returned quickly in Submariner Issue 9, January 1969. He was seen still a prisoner of the Submariner. Namor and Lord Seth leave to find the Herb of Healing to help restore Tiger Shark to human form, but they failed their quest. Then came Submariner Issue 16. Tiger Shark breaks out of prison and heads to the Sargasso Sea, where he discovers a kind of pirate ship. The ship's inhabitants are immortals who want to rule the world. When the Immortals left the mists of the Sargasso Sea, they began to age instantly and die. Tiger Shark attempted to unleash a deadly virus, but Namor and the sacrifice of Dr. Newell ensured that it caused no harm, leaving it to just Tiger Shark versus the Submariner, where Tiger Shark escapes and Namor vows to kill the foe next time. Tiger Shark was next seen in issue 24, where despite what the cover looks like, Tiger Shark is more of an ally today. In the issue, Tiger Shark appears, feeling for a fight, and some orca whales were sent after Lady Dorma by Krang. He defeats the animals and decides to help out. Atlantis is forced to turn to Todd Airless to save them. During the battle, Tiger Shark and the villain Orca attack each other, and their battle buries them both under some ruins. Next came some Mariner issues 43 to 46. Today, the Tiger Shark has teamed up with Lyra. Tiger Shark secretly hates her though, and is only using her to recharge his power since he's been slowly losing using his losing and using his. The two rogues unleash a sea monster named Krago. Eventually, Namor starts to fight Tiger Shark, but the human torch interrupts. Tiger Shark and Lyra have kidnapped Namor's father, Leonard McKenzie. Namor fights Tiger Shark and beats him for now while Lyra stands guard of McKenzie. Though, the hero Stingray helps out Namor by fighting Tiger Shark, but it's not good enough since Tiger Shark manages to murder Namor's father, and then he goes into hiding. He returned in Hulk issue 160. We learn that Tiger Shark has been hiding out at Niagara Falls, and he gets beaten up by the Incredible Hulk after he tried to kill Old Greenskin since he thought the Hulk was sent by Namor to capture him. He was unconscious and thrown into the river below. He was in Marvel Team-Up issue 14 next. Tiger Shark has moved to New York and allied with Dr. Dorcas, who had been developing menfish called Aquanoids to be his army of aquatic mutants. Spider-Man and Submariner find out about Dorcas' plan and invade his ship. Namor destroys Tiger Shark's suit and then they escape the ship before it explodes, seemingly killing Tiger Shark and Dorca. Tiger Shark was in the first three issues of Supervillain Team-Up. He, he has reappeared to team up with Atuma and Dr. Dorcas to capture the Hydro base and take Namor prisoner in there. Namor regained his freedom with the help of Dr. Doom and attacked the conspirators, throwing Tiger Shark into one of Atuma's war machines. He was in Miss Marvel issues 15 and 16. Tiger Shark breaks out of his Hydro base cell to get revenge on Namor. Miss Marvel learns Tiger Shark is planning to kidnap someone, but T.S. escapes her. Tiger Shark abducted Namor's cousin Namorita. His plan was ultimately foiled by Miss Marvel, though. He was in Avengers issue 222. 
Tiger Shark breaks into a jail and prison breaks out the Scorpion and Whirlwind. He was ordered to do so from the villain Egghead, who has put together a new Masters of Evil made up of Tiger Shark himself, Egghead, Whirlwind, Scorpion, and Moonstone. Then the villains go to Avengers Mansion to fight the heroes, but they are defeated. He was in Avengers 228-230. Tiger Shark is again Egghead's Masters of Evil, and today they plan to ruin the life of Hank Pym. Tiger Shark is just another rogue here who's defeated. He was also in Avengers 273 and 274. Tiger Shark works with the Masters of Evil again, this time led by Baron Zemo, to break into Avengers Mansion, where he fights the hero Hercules and gets stopped at the end. He was then West Coast Avengers Volume 2, Issue 16, coming out January 1987. While on the river, Hellcat grabs Tiger Shark and a fight happens. Tiger and Hellcat both scratch open Tiger Shark's costume, making him lose water, weakening him greatly, and the Avengers West Coast on the boat hold him there until they get the land and the police take care of him after that. During the Axe of Vengeance storyline, Tiger Shark fought Wolverine in Wolverine Volume 2, Issues 19 and 20. Wolverine stumbles upon a fight between T.S. and the character La Bandera. Wolverine cuts his suit open, and now, since Tiger Shark is losing water, he flees into the ocean and disappears. Wolverine gets attacked by him later again, this being in a fight underwater, and Tiger Shark leaves after getting Wolverine's claws stuck in some coral. He then goes back to hunting La Bandera. The two meet again, and Tiger Shark leaps to kill Wolverine, but gets stabbed by his claws and then he gets thrown into the water, and even though he got revitalized strength thanks to being in the water, some actual tiger sharks come up and bite him, dragging him deep into the sea. He was then in Marvel Comics Presents 53-56. to Tiger Shark is in holding and has fallen ill in custody, and seems to be dying and only Newell, aka the superhero Stingray's expertise, may have a chance of analyzing and curing him. He wakes up, breaks out, and even though Stingray tries to stop him, he kidnaps his sister, Diana Airless, who is also Stingray's wife. Back on the surface, and the kid to refill Diana's air tanks, he asks why he's bothering to take her with him, suggesting there's still some of her brother inside the monster he's become. Before, yeah, before Tiger Shark can hurt her to prove what he is, Stingray catches up to resume their battle. During their fight, causes the cavern to destabilize and start collapsing. Well, T.S. saves his sister's life by catching part of the cave ceiling. Tiger Shark apparently sacrifices his life here to save his sister and her husband. He was in the series called What The in issue 11. I guess this is an alternate universe Tiger Shark, where he's in a band and he plays the cello. He returned in Marvel Comics Presents issue 77. Now here, he gets attacked one day while swimming and almost fully kidnapped. Numerous of Mirner saves Tiger Shark's life, making the rogue mad and sad. Next came Numerous of Mariner issues 34 through 40, January to July 1993. In here, TS is in the Nomad Clan. Maria Airless was a member of the nomadic Atlantean colony, and one day she met Todd Airless, aka the Tiger Shark, who was going by the identity of Ares Tiger Shark. She tried to help the criminal reject his violent nature, and the pair married. The couple soon conceived a child, and upon visiting an Atlantean seer, the mother to be was given the prediction that the child was to be a boy. Unbeknownst to her, her husband, Tiger Shark, had heard the news of an unknown evil lurking near the colony, but in his ignorance, he chose to ignore it. One night, while the couple was discussing their future, they and the rest of the Atlantean colony were attacked by the Faceless Ones. Though her husband tried to fight them off, Mara, their child, and the rest of the colony were murdered. Mara's husband was the sole survivor. Yeah, Tiger Shark was the sole survivor. Overall, Tiger Shark reverted back to his old ways when his pregnant wife and her tribe were slaughtered by savage undersea creatures. He helped Namor battle Suma Ket, the master of the Faceless Ones. And, uh, yeah, Suma Ket was killed in battle. Anyway, he was in Namor de Mariner issues 46, 47, and 48 after that. In here, Tiger Shark reluctantly helps Namor fend off an alien invasion. And he even saves Namor's life. He was in Fantastic Four, issues 385 and 386. This is also part of the last story, with Tiger Shark fending off an invasion, helping the Fantastic Four, Namor, and the Inhuman Triton. Tiger Shark more or less is kept in line by this character called Tamara, a water-based extraterrestrial. He was in Namor de Mariner, 54-56. Tiger Shark fights against Namor's nephew, Lyran. 
and he was in issue 58 coming out January 1995. Tiger Shark joins a supervillain team called the Deep Six that battled the Avengers. Deep Six is a villain group made up of aqua villains. He was in the Thunderbolts issue 3. Tiger Shark rejoined the Masters of Evil led by a new Crimson Cal, Justine Hammer. At the time, he mutated into a more shark-like creature, complete with gray skin and a fin. The team battled the reformed villains, the Thunderbolts, clearly. He was then in Thunderbolts 18 through 20. In here, Tiger Shark and his teammates fight the Thunderbolts because the group refused to work with the new Masters of Evil. And then he was in Thunderbolts 23 to 25, February to April 1999. Again, he's here more as just a cameo, nothing special. Tiger Shark Den made his first media appearance in the cartoon show Avengers United They Stand, coming out December 11th, 1999. It was episode 6, titled Command Decision. He was voiced by Tony Daniels. He's a member of the Masters of Evil, trying to, st to uh, steal a government shipment of weapons. He was in Universe X4, Issue 1, in a different universe. Probably, obviously. Tiger Shark was a prisoner with Namor's palace in Atlantis. He was freed along with Orca and his mutated sister Diane. T.S. has red eyes and fangs like a vampire in here, and then he escapes and his whereabouts are unknown. Defenders Volume 2, Issue 7, and Issue 11 came next. In Issue, in issue 7, the villain group T.S. is in Deep Six try to conquer Atlantis. In Issue 11, they succeed, if only for a little while, because the Silver Surfer ruins and runs them out. Tiger Shark was a character slash Easter egg in JLA Avengers issue 3. He was then in She-Hulk issues 5 and 6. Tiger Shark was in prison in the big house where inmates were shrunk using pin particles, escaping with several other inmates at microscopic size by riding on the back of She-Hulk's hand. Tiger Shark and the other villains emerged and attacked when she visited a law firm. And then, yes, when fighting She-Hulk here is where this iconic funny panel happens where She-Hulk drops Electro into a fish tank with Tiger Shark, knocking them both out. There's a version of Tiger Shark that only appeared in Exiles issue 61 coming out March 2005. Tiger Shark was one of the Dark Beast's secret creations concocted in his lab in the Yucatan and kept away from both Mr. Sinister and Apocalypse. Namor uh, of the Exiles encountered him while searching for Dark Beast's lab notes on the Encarn Krista. Next came New Warriors Volume 3 Issue 1. Tiger Shark escaped from the raft but was captured while hiding out from the world by the New Warriors. He was in Underworld Issues 4 and 5. And here he's just an easter egg. And then Tiger Shark made his very first video game appearance in Marvel Ultimate Alliance on October 26th, 2006. He was voiced by Bill Weaver. In the third level of the game, you visit Atlantis and Tiger Shark has his own boss battle. He fights the heroes with Atuma, who has crowned themselves King of Atlantis after defeating Namor. Fallen Sun, The Death of Captain America, Issue 2 He's seen fighting Miss Marvel. Tiger Shark was involved in a theft of an artifact called the Horn of Gabriel, which he used to summon huge sea monsters and then directed them against the surface world. Ares was defeated by Namor in the Mighty Avengers. New Avengers issue 35. In this issue, we see Tiger Shark as a member of the Hoods Gang. Punisher War Journal 2006 issues 13 through 15. Tiger Shark was captured by Alexei Kravinov as part of the Hunter's plan to create a collection of animal-themed supervillains. Tiger Shark was one of his captives held in a water tank. When the Punisher breaks into the place, he finds himself face-to-face -face with Tiger Shark. The anti-hero manages to choke T.S. out. Thunderbolt's Reason and Madness Tiger Shark attempted to extort money from Norman Osborn, the leader of the new Thunderbolts, but he was beaten into submission by Venom and forced to secretly work for Osborn. Miss Marvel 2006 Issue 30 In here, Miss Marvel saves Tiger Shark's life since a monster scroll was after him in the Raft prison. He was in Deadpool 2008 Issues 5-7 through seven. In the story, Norman Osborn hires Tiger Shark to kill Deadpool, but Tiger Shark was shot back into the ocean by Deadpool's friend, Bob. Later, Todd tracks down Deadpool and they fight, leading to Deadpool firing a burst of bullets into Tiger Shark's chest. Tiger Shark made his one and only appearance next in the Ultimate Universe in Ultimate Fantastic Four number 60. Tiger Shark worked with Dr. Dorcas to, work for, to look for the Equinox Antonite, thus prompting the conflict with the Thing Invisible Woman. Mary Storm and Dr. Molkov 
were also searching for the Antonite. Tiger Shark fought against the Thing and was able to knock him down. They captured the four, but Sue was able to escape and free the group by using an invisible fish hook to yank Tiger Shark away and capture him. Marvel Apes The Amazing Spider Monkey Spectacular We see a version of Tiger Shark called Tigorilla fighting Ape Wolverine. Hulk 2008 issues 10 through 12 came next. Tiger Shark was drafted by the Games Master to be a member of the Defenders, a team led by the Red Hulk whose goal was to destroy the Defenders, and there's a scene where he bites Namor in the neck. Dark Rain Lethal Legion issues 1 through 3. Tiger Shark joins a new Lethal Legion group here. But in jail, he talks about how Norman Osborn, the Iron Patriot, beat him up on one of his crimes and then threw him out a skyscraper window. New Avengers issues 55 to 57. Tiger Shark is still in the Hoods gang, and he appears in the background for Easter egg appearances. He was in What If Spider Man House of M. He's an Easter egg fighting the Avengers. Marvel Superhero Squad Volume 2, Issue 5. In this universe, he only appears in one panel, and we only got to see the back of him as he goes flying through the air while in the middle of a superhero brawl. Hawkeye Blind Spot, Issue 1. Tiger Shark is working with others to steal an armored car full of money, but he gets stopped by Hawkeye. Fear itself to home front, Issue 2. All we see is Tiger Shark robbing a bank, that's all. Herc, Issue 3. And Tiger Shark is in this comic as another Easter egg breaking out of jail. Next came Fear Itself to Deep issues 1 through 3, June to August 2011. Tiger Shark later joined Nekod, Breaker of Oceans, Tyrak, and, and Arandia in conquering New Atlantis, and yeah, he's got two heads now. He's really just treated here as another enemy, though. He was in the series Villains for Hire, issues 1 through 4, December 2011 to March 2012. Tiger Shark attacks some villains working for the Purple Man, trying to steal an armored vehicle. That is because Tiger Shark is working in Misty Knight's crew. Later, at the bar with no name, Headhunter confronts Tiger Shark and Bombshell, attempting to recruit them to her side. A quick brawl breaks out, and Tiger Shark throws Shocker through a window during it. Tiger Shark then betrays Misty Knight thanks to the Purple Man ripping off her metal arm in a fight and about to eat her second, her real arm. He charges at her, but she knocks him out, crushing his hand with her restored cybernetic one. The villain was in this comic, Harley Davidson slash Avengers issues 1 and 2. Yeah, this is a real comic. He attacks the Avengers in a group, but then gets attacked by Negative Zone monsters. Wolverine Volume 2, Issue 304, June 2012. Tiger Shark is at Sabretooth's party and fights Wolverine again after the hero shows up. He was in Secret Avengers 29 and 30. It's an Easter egg, he's running around with other bad guys. He was in X-Men Volume 3, Issue 38. Daredevil and Domino walk in on the Masters of Evil and Daredevil knocks Tiger Shark silly. Gambit Volume 5, Issues 8 and 9, coming out March and April 2013. Tiger Shark confronts Gambit for being in an underground club, since he's a hero now, but he gets talked out of a confrontation. Tiger Shark was in Disc Wars Avengers Episode 1, released April 2nd, 2014. TS was in Disc Wars Avengers Episode 1, released April 2nd, 2014. He was locked up in the Raft prison, but when Loki attacked it, looking for these devices called Discs, in the craziness he escaped. He fought the Avengers and then decided to work for Loki. Later, he was also in Disc Wars Avengers episodes 21 to 23, August 20th to September 3rd, 2014. For these episodes, the X-Men and the Avengers attacked Loki's castle to retrieve the stolen discs. Tiger Shark was one of the villains that tried to stop them. He was defeated and secured in a disc. After Loki's defeat, his disc was stolen by Mystique and given to the Red Skull. Red Skull freed him and gave Tiger Shark more power with the Dimension Spear and made him a member of his new team, the Masters of Evil. He was in Fantastic Four Volume 5, Issue 9, October 2014. He is the muscle in prison for Sharon Ventura, aka the She Thing. After that, he was in Discord's Ep Avengers Episode 27 on October 1st, 2014, and Episode 29 on October 15th, 2014. In Episode 27, he fights Deadpool. In Episode 29, he defeated Black Panther and Wakanda, trapping the hero in a disc, but then he gets caught himself. Todd Ehrlich was in Elektra 2014, issues 6 and 7. 
Tiger Shark fights Electro with the rest of this new villain team called the Assassin's Guild. Now the guild has turned Todd into more shark than man using his senses to fight, but Electro still escapes him. He was in Illuminati 2015 issues 2 and 3. He makes a small cameo appearance. Then on March 23rd, 2016, Tiger Shark was in Marvel Avengers Alliance 2. Next, he was in Avengers Standoff, Assault on Pleasant Hill, Alpha, and Omega, and all new, all different Avengers number 8. Tiger Shark had been captured by S.H.I.E.L.D. and imprisoned at Pleasant Hill, a clandestine super prison that used sentient cosmic cube to transform their inmates into model citizens of a small town. Most villains escaped from Pleasant Hill following a breakout. He was in Deadpool and the Mercs for Money, Issue 3. He's an easter egg in a humongous group of villains. Now, Spider-Woman, Volume 6, Issue 8, coming out August 2016. In here, Spider-Woman goes after Tiger Shark, with him now being the kingpin of Staten Island. She breaks into his penthouse, and a fight ensues. The fight leads into the sewers where a sea monster grabs T.S. and slams him against all the walls, knocking him out. On September 20th, 2016, he was in Marvel What The Episode 52. Tiger Shark was at Zemo's Road Heist, playing pool with the Beetle. Star-Lord Volume 2, Issue 5. It's a small cameo. Thunderbolts Volume 3, Issue 10. He's here as another member of the Masters of Evil. Thunderbolts Volume 3, Issue 12, Secret Empire, Issue 0, and Secret Warriors Volume 2, Issue 4. They were part of the Secret Empire event and had Tiger Shark in the issues. For a little bit, he's barely in the comics, like here where he get, just gets zapped away. He was in Black Panther Volume 6, Issue 16, September 2017. Tiger Shark is an Easter egg in the issue. On December 1st, 2017, Tiger Shark was included in the Marvel Avengers Alliance 1 update, and this card is just a visual for the video, it has nothing to do with the game. Now he was in Jessica Jones Volume 2, Issue 18, coming out May 2018. He makes a cameo in the story. Next, Tiger Shark made many appearances in the cartoon Marvel Avengers Assemble. He was first in episodes 105 to 107, September 23rd and 30th, 2018, then episode 109 on October 14th, 2018, and then episodes 115 and 116 on November 25th and December 2nd, 2018. He was voiced by Matthew Mercer during the time the, shadow, the show was subtitled Black Panther's Quest. And this is a version of Tiger Shark based off the Ultimate Universe. He's an Atuma's former general and a member of the Shadow Council. He has protested the treaty between his homeland and the surface world and seeks to conquer Atlantis and Wakanda and the world. Tiger Shark blows the horn of Neptune and it summons a sea monster. Then there's a scene where he fights Black Panther and Wakanda. There he tries to steal an artifact but gets stopped by Panther, Black Widow, and Captain America. He also fights Baron Zemo when he tries to steal Zemo's father's files for the Shadow Council. In this show, Atuma is against Tiger Shark for he is fighting for Atlantis. He was then in Avengers Volume 8, Issues 9 and 10. Tiger Shark has attacked a cruise ship in an attempt to impose a troll for traversing his waters when Stingray engages him in a fight. Then, Tiger Shark accepted to join Namor's side to become a member of his Defenders of the Deep, Namor's own supervillain assembled to impose his will on the surface world's presence in the oceans. He was in Dead Man Logan, Issue 1. It's an Easter egg. T.S. was again in Marvel's Avengers Assemble, Episodes 122 to 124, January 27th and February 10th, 2019. Then, Episode 126 on February 24th, 2019. To get on Atuma's good side, the Avengers capture Tiger Shark, but he gets released the next episode for a war on the surface world. In Episode 126, Tiger Shark murders White Wolf. Black Panther restrains his violence against T.S. for him to be judged by Wakanda itself. Invaders Volume 3, Issue 2, April 2019. Tiger Shark is still a Defender of the Deep and fights Captain America when he comes down to talk to Namor. He was in Invaders issue 9 next. Tiger Shark and Orca go off plan and start eating people. Namor turns against the two rogues and T.S. gets stopped by Captain America. Next, Tiger Shark was in Avengers Volume 8 issues 32, 40, 42, 43, 44, and 49. Honestly, he was just another member of a huge team of adversaries in the Marvel Deep Oceans. Hulk Grand Design issue 1. In this story, he has a callback to Hulk issue 160 where the Incredible Hulk fought T.S. He was in Captain Marvel volume 10 issue 38. It's a lone, it's a one panel moment where Captain Marvel blasts Tiger Shark. Tiger Shark's last appearance to date was in Avengers Unlimited Infinity Comic issues 19 and 20, November 2022. 
Well, in here, Tiger Shark was fighting Black Panther, then Namor interfered and beats up Tiger Shark. And that was everything about anything when it comes to Tiger Shark up to March 2023. As always, I love making this video. Surprisingly, there isn't a lot about Tiger Shark online, but I really liked reading about him, especially this story with him, his sister, and Stingray. His costume is really unique, and I hope he continues to wear this in his media appearances. I'd say he could really fit in well to some TV show, maybe as a villain of the week. Well, with that said, that was the Marvel Rogue Tiger Shark. I hope you all enjoyed, and have a great day.